Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here let's check out the top new games made with Unity for January 2022. This was an interesting month, very few notable releases early on the month, I guess everyone is scared to launch right after the winter sale, but still there's some really nice games. If you want to be a successful indie game developer, you need to keep up to date with what's coming out. I make these videos once a month so I can learn which games are finding success. All of these games are uniquely impressive, so the list is in no particular order, except for the number one game that is my personal pick of the month. Also, there's affiliate links in the description for some of the games. Are you looking for Unity work? Find hundreds of companies seeking Unity devs right now for building games, VR and AR, simulations and more at seriesgamejobs.com. Sign up to the free weekly email digest and get access to their search tool built specifically for Unity jobs. Alright, so starting off at number 10, here's one that looks very much influenced by Resident Evil. It's got a great look. The camera is isometric with a very low FOV and it's really pushed in. That, coupled with the scale of the characters on all of the objects, all of that really gives it this interesting claustrophobic look. Explore this world, solve some puzzles, manage your resources, and of course, take out the undead. For me, I'm someone who can't really handle horror games, especially in first person with tons of jump scares, but I do like survival mechanics, so since this one is with an isometric camera, I might look into it just to experience those mechanics. Then here's a really wholesome game called Paparazzi. Based on the name, you can already guess that it involves puppies and taking pictures. You go out on a great looking cartoony village, you grab your camera, look for dogs and take pictures. Upgrade your equipment, buy some lenses and some film to get the final shot working exactly as you want it. Discover all the dozens of dog breeds, play fetch, dress them up or scare them with a vacuum. And of course, give them lots of pets. So if you want to have a good relaxing time, then this game will certainly help. Then here's one that's a bit odd, Warriors Rise to Glory. Odd because it's extremely successful with 700 very positive reviews, but based on the trailer, I don't quite get it. The game itself looks to be turn-based, on a line or a grid. There are several ways to level up and upgrade your character with better and better gear. It's got lots of memes and fart jokes, so if you're into this type of humor, then it looks like people really enjoy it. If instead you're looking for some stylish side-scrolling action, check out Blade Assault. Some gorgeous looking pixel art, definitely study this one to learn some stylish pixel art animations. Take out your enemies with all kinds of weapons. Use the power of lightning, fire and coal to survive until the end of each stage. Just by looking at the trailer, it seems like this game has some excellent gameplay. This one is a very crowded genre, so based on this one already has almost a thousand very positive reviews, then this one must be excellent. By the way, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like button. It's a tiny thing, but it really does help. Thanks. Then for some VR, over here is Climby. It's a VR-only climbing game. The goal is to get to the top or the end as quickly as possible while avoiding obstacles and of course without falling down. You can jump and grab with your hands and move around almost like a ninja. Repel down lines, dodge some spikes and of course don't fall into the lava. Also features workshop support so pretty much endless content. One of the games or rather mods that I loved playing as a kid was Counter Strike on the KZ maps. They were climbing maps, you need to do some really tricky jumps to make it to the end, so this one really takes me back to that feeling. Although I must say for me movement is still something that makes me slightly nauseous. But this game has so many positive reviews that it seems to be working for lots of people. Definitely need to give this a try. Or maybe you're looking for some World War II, here's Easy Red 2. This one has a focus on heavy simulation and historical realism. It just came out after over a year in early access, so it looks like a really well polished experience. Each person has a job to do, you become the squad leader or medic or a radio man, achieve sub-objectives on the way to your main mission. You can control vehicles and blow up the enemy's defenses. This one has a massive scale with infantrymen, tanks and planes flying all over, so if you want some massive historical warfare, check it out. Then for something quite original, over here is Alina of the Arena. They say this game combines the cards of Slay the Spire with the grid action from Into the Breach. That's a very unique combination. You can dodge enemies and deal damage directly, or swap positions and let the enemies damage themselves. The cards range from some simple attacks to some dodge rolls and very powerful AoE attacks. You can build your deck and upgrade your cards. So that's similar to Slay the Spire and then you can see the enemy path just like in Into the Bridge. So you can also place down traps and take down your enemies. It's only just launched in early access and already has over 500 very positive reviews so it seems like this combination really works. And this month also had another VR mega hit called Zenith The Last City. It's a massively multiplayer online game. You can fight, craft and explore this huge world, lots of melee and ranged weapons, the action looks very satisfying. You can forge alliances and set up your guild and your party, go out on epic raids and explore this world. 
This one is a huge hit, even by normal game standards. It's already got over a thousand very positive reviews. It really is awesome that VR is no longer this super niche genre. Nowadays you can make a VR game and get sales numbers comparable to regular games. More VR game sales means better funding to make better future games. That is extremely good for the future of VR and I'm definitely looking forward to it. And for another simulator type game, here is Internet Cafe Simulator 2. This one is also all about jokes and memes. It's intentionally janky, so not really meant to be a serious simulator. You build an internet cafe, buy up some equipment for your customers to enjoy. You can improve the computers, purchase game licenses and give your customers a good time. There's also troublemakers, so you need to hire guards, prepare meals for the customers and install generators. It certainly looks a bit chaotic, but it has tons of positive reviews, so if you like it, check it out. And at number one for my personal pick of the month, here is something very unique, not for broadcast. You're in control of a broadcast and it's up to you to manage the cameras, you need to bleep swear words and keep the audience hooked even as the people on screen go a bit crazy. Visually it looks great, it's always tricky to match real life footage with some CG elements but I think it looks really nice. Although I must say that usually this kind of FMV sort of games is not really my genre, but seeing how this has an insane 5000 overwhelmingly positive reviews, based on that I really need to try it. Alright, so that's 10 awesome new games made with Unity launched in January 2022. There's links in the description for some of the games, those are film links so if you use them it's the same price as you and it'll also be supporting the channel. Check out the phone playlist to see some more awesome games made with Unity. Do you have any other hidden gems you found this month? Let me know in the comments. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.